Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again to do another beer review. Going to do a beer by Lost and Grounded. It's a Lost and Grounded collaboration with Cloudwater and a Burning Sky and it is the Parrot Lounge Imperial Stout. This weighs in at a massive 8% as it says so there. Uh, best before on this one is the 22nd of the 9th 20 and if we we'll focus in it says so there got this from the mighty Bartons and Ashton Makefield and it cost me £3.75 pence for an 8% Imperial Stout so not a bad deal to be fair considering it's not a supermarket I've done a few Lost and Grounded beers before, like what they do. Not any Bear in the Sky stuff, I must admit. Um, I've obviously done Cloud Water. Yeah, I've done them to death. Uh, I do quite like what Cloud Water do. So, 8% Imperial Stout. Don't know what to go, we're going to get out of this. Let's pop it on and let's see what we've got. And as you can see, I have relocated. Um, my usual reviewing spot has been taken. <laughs> Um, as the future Mrs. Beard has decided she's going to make a cake. Well, there we go, getting the beer all get it all in. We'll get most of it, yeah, get it all in. So, what have we got? Beer and glass. What have we got? Jet black, as you'd expect. No kind of light getting through that whatsoever. We've got two fingers of tanned sponge like head there's holes all over that no particulars there's a little bit of carburation on the bottom there just clinging on for dear life if you can just make that out this looks absolutely tremendous so lost the ground at the parrot lounge let's give it a go let's get my nose oh, that smells very nice there's roasted, heavy roasted malt. There's hints of dark chocolate. There's little touches of coffee here and there. But it is mostly roasted, roasted malt. And then yeah, chocolate. A little bit of coffee. Let's go for the body and the carb. Well, that's lighter than I thought it was going to be. Wow. Oh, that's lighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought this might have been a bit thick and it's going to be heavy, and it's not. It's light, bordering on the light, the, 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 the medium body. Um, carbonation wise, it just it pops, it's gone. So it's a it's light carbonation for me. Um, let's go back in for a big old cobble. Right, what you get? Most of malt at the start, and it kind of builds this sweet, the sweet. It is sweet chocolate, and it smells of dark, but it is sweet chocolate. It kind of builds up a little bit, and then as that goes, and you're left with this sort of coffee, um, cold coffee flavour. The, the malt, the roasted malt backbone just just travels and these flavours just kind of have waves of flavour. It's bloody lovely. 8% you just won't get any of that. You don't pick any of the alcohol up whatsoever. Um, it's really, really well hidden. Well, like I say, it starts with the malt where the flavour comes in. You get a little bit of sweetness, you get chocolate, a little bit of sweetness. It fades into a sort of like a coffee. And then as that phase, then the malt comes back in again because the malt just lingers. I like this. This is quite nice. Mm. I 
it's a sipper. I'll give it that. So I'm gonna wrap this video up nice and short. I'm gonna finish this and watch a bit of football. I'm probably gonna chip in and make the cake. Might do. I'm not. The look I've just been given now, I'm not. Well, certainly not. The future Mrs. Beard and have a little taste because I know she likes her, likes her imperial stance. Do you want to go? As it compared to Aranoko. There you go. Aranoko by Drygate is the future Mrs. Beard Dad's favourite stout. So everything compares to that. Um, and this, this piece of, well, the look I got was it doesn't compare to Aranoko. Not bad. Anyway, so I'm going to go away and sip on what's left of this. Um, lots of grand collaboration with Cloudwater and with Burning Sky. Pad Lounge Imperial Stouts, eight percent. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Would I buy it again? At that price, absolutely, I would buy it again. Would I recommend it to friends? Yes, it's really good. It's a good, solid Imperial Stout. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't ask ask many questions. It just tells you what it's going to do. And it just does it. There are better Imperial Stouts, but there's a lot worse Imperial Stouts out there. And I'll, um, yeah. So there you go. So thumbs up. Like the video, thumbs up if you don't. Lost on our website below. Have a little check on that. You can't get this on that website, so I don't know why. I um, subscribe there, the bell, the whole shooting match. I say website, the whole lot. See you in the next one. Hey Leo.